I'm Kimberly Shore. I'm a family nurse practitioner. I uh, moved to the Big Island of Hawaii in uh, 2005. I uh, thought I might frame today's remarks upon uh, a well-known Hawaiian five-letter word. It's not too hard to find uh, vowels in the Hawaiian language. Uh, the written Hawaiian language has 12 12 letters and two diacritical marks. So uh, every Hawaiian word ends in a vowel. And the five letter word I chose today would be, of course, aloha. Uh, the first A uh, represents uh, the concept of respecting those who are akamai, as they say in Hawaiian. And that is uh, those who are wise. Uh, and we appreciate at uh, Paradise Home Care Cooperative, and we acknowledge those who are akamai are aged, uh, those who, uh, for whom our assistance is garnered. And we appreciate those who accept the ongoing responsibilities of keeping our co-op alive. And that is an ongoing, daily uh, responsibility. Uh, I also would want to take this time to appreciate the task force members who voluntarily responded to our local USDA Cooperative Development Specialist Tim O'Connell's request in 2005 to, to meet and discuss uh, the, the challenges of getting a workforce together. And in 2005, as they uh, are now in 2011, would still agree that uh, it is uh, a lack of a stable home care workforce that is uh, not only troubling but threatening uh, our future. The letter L, the next letter in Aloha, when you live on Big Island, uh, represents none other than lava. And uh, their uh, CDF was kind enough to uh, reproduce some images from uh, my neighborhood. And uh, I wanted to thank you for that. It's hard to describe when Madam Pele goes off. Uh, but uh, there is one pho photograph there that the the title got a little bit confused, and I, I want you to appreciate that the photograph of my dog and myself uh, is not really that she is the president of the co-op, as the, <laughs> the, the she is indeed a, a supporter of our home care cooperative. Um, Madam Pele, the, the goddess of volcanoes, represents the twin nature of existence. It's creation through destruction, and Paradise Home Care Co-op uh, knows this paradox all too well. The 2005 USDA demonstration grant got us going, but not flowing. It provided a small group of interested caregivers, the early adopters of this co-op idea, and an opportunity to uh, engage in a labor of love. After several months and numerous community meetings on the east side of our island, uh, in Pahoa and Ke'au, which are 10 to 25 miles south of the International Airport in Hilo. Uh, we went up to Volcano Village, which is 2,500 uh, feet, uh, and down to Hilo Town, uh, which is at sea level, and thus the location of the Tsunami Museum. Uh, we went north of Hilo to Lapahoihoi, which is the uh, Hawaiian name for the slow-moving lava. A very small core group emerged at this time between 2000 and 2006, who initially seemed interested in trying to start a worker-owned co-op. In 2007, with the original $50,000 USDA grant funding spent or otherwise unavailable to us, its paid coordinator gone, we found ourselves owners of a $15,000 feasibility study. Uh, and its conclusion seemed to predict ominously our demise. <laughs> the low pay, the lack of professional caregivers, caregiver turnover and burnout, all threatening the viability of not only a startup co-op business, but many mainland co-op and non-co-op home care agencies. Undaunted, we called ourselves the steering committee because we felt we were going boldly where no other CNA or co-op worker dared to venture on our island or uh, the state of Hawaii, for that matter. Uh, most of the uh, uninsured steering committee workers, certified nurse aides, were working for little more than minimum wage 
for multiple home care agencies. One of the state laws in Hawaii is that if an employer uh, employs a worker for 20 hours or more, medical insurance is mandated. And this then drives a lot of what I call the Walmart model of employment, which is 19 hours, 17 hours, 12 hours. And so this in, in turn creates multiple employers and no health insurance. They were struggling, our CNAs, uh, were struggling to recertify because the hours worked autonomously, as Tracy uh, so well knows. <coughs> For home care agencies in a home, remain unrecognized as the work to recertify yourself as a CNA, unlike the CNAs who are working in the Medicaid long-term care facilities, where they automatically renew their certification uh, with uh, working eight hours employed within a two-year period. Uh, with luck and dedicated leadership, our steering committee met Diane Gasway and the Northwest Cooperative Development Center came into our lives in 2007. Diane and her staff from the mainland uh, believed we exhibited some cooperative values. Uh, Laulima is a Hawaiian word for cooperative, cooperation, people working together. It also means community food patch, <laughs> as well as lokahi, which is uh, a Hawaiian idea around unity and agreement. Uh, and she knew uh, we would benefit from some logistical leveraging. And uh, subsequently, our, our, our steering committee turned into charter members, and we began to learn the language of cooperative business, articles of incorporations, bylaws, uh, retained equity, uh, DLIR, board of directors, EINs, I-9 forms, um, and with the Northwest Cooperative Development Center's ongoing support and legwork, we gathered the notarized signatures on February 29th, leap year, and Paradise Home Care <laughs> Cooperative registered as a business uh, with the state of Hawaii on Girls' Day, March 3rd, 2008 a special day in Hawaii that recognizes the future of youth, and it was a very special day to our co-op as well. Paradise remains the first and only home care cooperative in the state's history, the only home care business, and this is to be distinguished from home health care business. We are the only home care business in the state with a Medicaid provider number, which brings us to the letter O and aloha. Ohana, which means family, and Obama, which means uh, USDA revolving loan fund money, uh, <laughs> finally, found, uh, finally, through the Northwest Cooperative Development Center, funded for the first time our manager position. Uh, this allows and optimizes our organization uh, to demonstrate favorable outcomes that have a positive social impact, that are sustainable and that exceed expectations. H, is delivering home care in Hawaii harder? <laughs> uh, home care in Hawaii or anywhere uh, must represent more than what is called HH, homemaker housekeeper services, for home care to remain humane and not the frontline perpetrator of predatory insurance practices. I'm taking the gloves off, Stacey, Tracy. These practices wear many disguises, uh, such as patient-directed services, where the Medicaid client is mailed checks from the Medicaid insurance company to their home address in the name of the caregiver. At the end of the year, the caregiver receives a 1099 form Shockingly, no taxes have been taken out during this. And the question that I have yet to have answered by anyone in the state, maybe next year I'll be able to answer this for you, is who is the employer of this caregiver when we hear that caregivers are injured regularly? We knew who, our, who was the employer of our newly hired caregiver on her second day of work, heading back to return a mop 
to a backyard shed when she disappeared into a lava tube. Didn't really put that one in the business plan. Um, un, un, unusual for our caregivers is that she owns a cell phone, which are expensive. And on our side of the island, because of the rain, the clouds stop a lot of the cell phone reception. She had one. And even more remarkable is that from the bottom of the lava tube, it worked. And she was able to summon, summon some help. Uh, we knew we were her employer. She knew we were her employer. Uh, but back to uh, another predatory disguise is that authorizing home care services that uh, require running errands but without any mileage reimbursement. In the era of things cost, costing more and more on Hawaii, uh, and in particular on our island, uh, when I left, it was over $4 a gallon. And these cars are not hybrids that our caregivers are driving. Uh, there is phone interviews by these insurance companies. These are HMO Medicaid uh, insurance companies who won the contract two years ago uh, in the state of Hawaii. They are mainland. Uh, which is, when I moved there, I didn't realize that the mainland was the other. Uh, the, the, the mainland companies are doing their annual face-to-face -face interviews by phone, and not by Skype phone, where you are actually able to see this person. And these assessments are being done over the phone to authorize home care services for our elderly. Uh, and, uh, lastly, and not in, in any way leastly around this uh, insurance authorization for home care services, uh, we are, uh, Tracy's experience is that it's one hour. Uh, we have a two hour minimum where we are, and our clients live very far away, and we are getting one hour of homemaker housekeeper services a week, and this is to give our, with no personal care, which is what certified nurse aides are so gifted and, and professional around, which is the personal care that would allow someone to shower or bathe or eat. It's actually touching the elderly. And finally, the last A in Aloha. Our, our co-op questions the ambitions of those who approach the allocation of scarce home and community-based funds as a line item to be minimized. In conclusion, we are but a few who share a common vision on an island in the middle of the Pacific. We strive to develop and nurture our caregivers in Ohana, the family, island-wide, as a sustainable, valuable business model. On behalf of Paradise Home Care Cooperative, with aloha and gratitude, we invite you to join us on our beautiful island until we meet again, ahui ho and aloha.